Satnam, I'm Nirvara Singh Khalsa, and welcome to 2012. We've really been looking forward to this, and, and people all over the world, this is almost the equivalent of when the century changed, and we came into 2000 with the anticipation of this particular date. There's been a lot of information in the media about 2012. There is even a movie, The Destruction of Los Angeles, was amazing in that movie, 2012. And it's the Aquarian Age. We passed the Aquarian Age in 11, 11, 11. And this is our first new year of the Aquarian Age. But really, there's nothing to be afraid about. All these conspiracy ideas or earth changes or even the end of the Mayan calendar, which, by the way, a lot of scholars think happened last October and not going to happen in this next December of 2012. It's all just something that happens in, in human life. Personally, I don't think a lot's going to happen, although the shift in the change is going to be internal in the consciousness of somebody. This change of the calendar is just like the change of the calendar for the new year. We turn the page and a new year begins. And so it's not so much what happens. Sure, there'll be earth changes, just like there always are. And it's just a matter of how you deal with them. Yogi Bhajan has a lot of teachings about this. And we have a, a new uh, book that came out this year called Rebirthing that just came out this winter solstice. These are his classes that he taught that are particularly, I think, effective and powerful, probably the most powerful things that he taught. And we've produced 24 videos, and we have this book which includes the lectures and also the Kriyas. And I just highly recommend this. I think this is kind of Kari's gift for the future in a certain sense. But the main message that he gives is, is that is that you're supposed to be the hub and not and not the rim, you know, in terms of the wheel. It's the idea is that if, you know, the secret of the universe, and he talks about this in here, is that is that the basis of prakirti, nature, which will serve you, is purka. And purka is when you become the one, within the one, and then the nature can serve you. If you become the center of your own universe and really actually realize and understand in consciousness that you are, then everything revolves around you. So it doesn't matter, you know, if there are earth changes, if there are changes within your relationships, all these kind of shifting are for us to learn lessons so that we can live in our spiritual selves and live with our in, in our in our souls. And so, we're going to do as part of our meditation uh, today in the second part of this. We're going to do a meditation from this book. It's actually in the appendix. It's a prosperity meditation, and I like to do those at the first part of the year because everyone wants to be prosperous. But so, anyway, welcome to the Aquarian Age. Thank you so much for supporting KRI this year. We have lots of new good products and, and new things that we're going to come out so that you can study the teachings of Yogi Bhajan. And I'm just so happy to be here with you in 2012. Satnam. So, um...